Happy Women's International Day. We are talking about women in a leadership, joined by a woman a leader, senior lecturer, business lady, a disciplinarian, an empowering leader, an author, and a consultant, Dr. Marie Mugo. Dr. Marie Mugo, happy International Women's Day. Thank you, Simba, and thank you for having me. Happy to have you around. Let's get into it. I mean, this year's theme is a Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. Where are we as a nation, Dr. Mary Mungo, in ensuring that women have equal opportunities as men when it comes to leadership, be it in business and any other front? It's a question that anybody would ever ask you. Uh, thank you, Simba. Um, let me say that uh, we, are, we are doing something. We are not too far. When you look at all the front, uh, fronts, uh, whether it's political, whether it is economic, whether it is, uh, you know, educational, I think we are, in, we, we are not doing too badly, but we can do better. Yes. And um, if you look at even internationally, just the other day, the, the director general for the first time is a woman of WTO. So I think uh, we, are, we are not doing very badly, but we can do better with uh, better support. We can do better if only we were given more opportunities because uh, Simba, women are good leaders and women make good leaders. You can even see even from the COVID aspect, the, 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 the countries that are led by women are doing better. And that is uh, there for everyone to see. So I believe women are, good, are, are better managers by all by all means, and they are better leaders. Thank you, Simba. Yes, let's talk about that just a little bit, uh, Dr. Mary Mugo, because somebody's going to tell you, no, we're not there yet. I mean, if we're in 2021, and it's what we're talking about, if we could give women more opportunities. As a country, are we still in that cultural cocoon? What we're saying, well, it's a woman still. It's 2021. See, but you know, the, the, the major problem with the, our country, in my view, is th there are various issues that make women disadvantaged in terms of leadership. Yes. You find, for, insta for instance, in Kenya, you'll find there's a lot of violence. If today a woman decides to, uh, to run for any uh, leadership, whether it is at the national level, local level, even institutional level for that matter, many, many men and even women themselves will start uh, throwing mud at that woman. They will start digging deep and start saying, you know, they, they, they are so disadvantaged in uh, the things, they, the way they do, the campaigns are at night, people are doing things, they, they are married, they are needed at home. So you'll find that socially there are things that are not right, and more so even traditionally. Simba, if a woman is a good leader, for example, Mother Karua, because I believe she's a good leader, People start branding them iron ladies. If you look like you are firm, you are aggressive, even in the workplace. People start saying you you are an iron lady. I, I keep asking myself, Simba, how is it that there are no iron men? Why, why would you brand a lady who is a good leader an iron lady? So the traditions also, we are so paternalistic in this country that if a woman is doing well, if a woman is aggressive, if a woman is promoted, even the workers will start thinking, the woman is promoted because of other things they have done, not because they are qualified. Yes. So this country has a lot of things that disadvantage women in leadership, whether it is traditional, whether it is um, the way people, you know, the, the mindset of the, of the people, uh, even uh, the electorate themselves, if it's political, or even, as I said, even in an institution, like uh, even in... Uh, in 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 in, in, in circles in like even in academia we have uh, we we have other bodies you find that women will always be people will always come up with funny things to discourage the woman who is trying to stand for something they will start branding them they will start saying oh this is not this is not a woman's job this is a man's job so it's all in the mind and 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 when a woman does well Simba people will start thinking other things. I keep asking myself, why is it that nobody says when a man is promoted, when a man is doing well, they have done something? So I think it has to do with a lot of issues. 
Viva not the gender aspect. I personally simply believe if women are given the opportunity, we are up to the task. We don't need favors from anybody. Just give them a platform where they can actually hear their views, where they can sell themselves. And I, I tell you what, we will be there. And we will be the leaders that this Kenya is lacking. I hope one day we'll have a president who is a woman. And then you'll see the difference, Simba. I'm also hoping for that.